Hey everyone, it's Nahar here from Zeek and in this video I will be talking with you about the eBay competitor research tool of Zeek and what it can be used for. Now, most of the people uh, use uh, the competitor research mainly for one thing and it's uh, find best selling products for their competitors. But to utilize the features and to utilize the power of the eBay competitor research tool of Zeek, you can use it in different ways. Let's get started. So, use competitor research to number one find competitors winning products you all know about it number two learn new selling strategies and number three discover high selling niches i'll be going through each of these steps i'll explain to details how do you do it and then i'll share my screen and i'll show you a, a live example on how you do it let's start with the first one find competitor competitors winning products so we break it down to two steps. Uh, so first of all, it's find relevant competitors. Um, what it means, uh, you want to find competitors that use the same supplier like you use. You want to make sure uh, these competitors work with a good profit margin, so it will be worth uh, the time you spend on research them. And of course, uh, to find competitors with a good selling performance. So high sell to rate, high sales, uh, and more sales than active listings, etc. We'll be talking about it in the, in, when I'm sharing my screen. And once you find a good competitors, it's go to number two is a find, uh, it's a, a look for winning products. You want to find at least, uh, you want to find products with at least five sales in the last 30 days. And again, it really depends which product you want to do. For example, for regular product is five sales uh, in the last 30 days. For traffic products is uh, 10, 15, 20 etc and then of course no more than 15 competitors and also here you don't need to stick to this number this is your barrier but still uh, if you want to have a higher standard and or if you're just starting i would suggest you go for products with no more than five competitors and of course you want to have a leverage on uh, your competitors uh, winning products you want to make sure you can list them with a better price with a better title better picture better shipping and return policies and better listings in general so now i'm going to share my screen and i'm going to give you one example for a good competitor and then uh, we're going to see uh, how you can get all this information and find winning products see you there all right for the example uh, i found this seller here and i want to go through it and show you first of all how you validate uh, the seller of course make sure it's a seller with the right performance seller which worth the time you, uh, of, of research and then move on to give you an example about uh, find his winning products uh, so first of all you want to see uh, the seller you want to see his performance you want to make sure here his sell through rate is above 20 uh, percent now don't, it's not a mandatory rule, but the higher is the sell to rate, uh, the better sign uh, that this seller is doing the right job. And eventually you want to follow sellers with a high performance because, you know, you want to learn from the best. And also these sellers are investing time in finding products and, and uh, you can, you know, use the time they invest to get product ideas, niche ideas and find winning products as well. So this is the first things you're looking for. Now, second things we want to see how much... Uh, um, how much active listings you have and how much successful listings you have. As you can see, you have 644 active listings and 122 success listings. It's not wow, but it's definitely, definitely all right. These 122 uh, active listings generated 249 uh, sales. And overall, uh, the seller earnings $5,000. Now, for the example, I pick a seller that drop ship from AliExpress to eBay. Uh, and when we look on this number for an AliExpress dropshipper, it's very good because he make around 30% profit. But before you dive in and you start to pick his winning products, I always suggest, you know, after you say, okay, this is a seller which is worth to, to follow, uh, is to go and check his first two, three uh, best-selling items and see his uh, selling performance. So I'll go for the first product here. As you can see this product here, you can see picture title when it was uploaded on eBay, sales in the last 30 days and sales lifetime. By the way, you can get also statistics from the last seven days, 14 days, 21 days to 30 days. I usually work with 30 days. I like to have some uh, uh, data to work with. So I'll go with the first product here. Uh, I see it's selling for $8.99 um, and uh, I will just check out his first two products to see his profit margin. So I'll click uh, on the plus button here uh, to go to find it in AliExpress. I'll click here on the search photo on Google 
uh, to see if Google can show me this product on AliExpress. I'll scroll down and I see here uh, that the product is appearing on AliExpress here as well. So let's just, let's just uh, open uh, the links. And we come here to the result on AliExpress and we can see that the product here, uh, uh, the first product here is the same product. Now this product shipped to the United States for free and we have 30 to 50 days uh, shipping time uh, for $1.72. Now if we go back, we see this product here selling for $8.99. So if we do a quick uh, math, we'll see his uh, profit for this product. So it's $8.99 minus 14, sorry, minus 14% PayPal eBay fees, minus 30 cent. We're talking about uh, 7.4 left, minus 0.72. And you can see that he's making very high profit. Guys, it's above 50% profit for his, his first product. Now, when I see this about the seller, I already understand these sellers work with high profit margins and I'll invest more time investigating his, um, his products. Now, the first step you completed, you find seller which works well, you find seller which have high profit on his product. Now, second step will be to go through his product and see which product you can sell. And here, of course, the first product we already checked, we can sell above five sales in the last 30 days, 10 competitors, which is fine here and total sales 18. Overall, this is a good product. And then I'll just pick the product based on my criterias. Now, as I said, the, the beginning you are, be more strict with your criterias. Why? You anyway limited in how much product you can list. Uh, so just list the best, you know, you need to create sales to push your store forward, okay? And this is how you do, you go through this product, looking through the winning products, picking them. Of course, you have to see if you can optimize title, optimize price. Here we can see we can definitely optimize price. So we'll just go inside the listings here and we will look uh, uh, on everything here. You see is working with variations. We look to the item specific to see if we can improve it. We look to the shipping and payments to see if we can improve it. Okay, the handling time, shipping time, we need to have a better than our competitor. And then of course, only also on the description and we are good to go. Now I'm gonna to move to the second part and is uh, learning our, our competitor, um, our competitors selling strategies. I'll see you there learn new selling strategies. So I broke it here also to two steps. Step number one, analyze store strategy. You wanna see his average selling price, his sell through rate and his success rate. And of course, profit margin and, if, and everything else. You already check it when you look for winning products and you validating your competitor. You wanna make sure to understand uh, which type of product he sell, which type of product research method he use. He's just have a general store, he have a niche store, he's focusing on high ticket items, he's, uh, he's scaling winning products. You know, every competitor have completely different strategy and this is why it's super important uh, to see these things because you can learn and, and uh, get ideas of successful ideas to implement it into your store. Step number two is analyze your competitor listings. Part of the strategy is not only in the store, it's also in the listings themselves. So he, how he do his title, photos, description, item specific, what is price and profit, and what supplier he use. Super, super important. I'll now uh, dive in a share screen and show you uh, one example for an interesting uh, seller with an interesting strategy and give you some key points. See you there. All right, guys, so I prepared for you here two sellers with two different strategies because I want to give you an example on how you basically find out uh, what are the strategies and get strategies ideas. So as I said, the idea is to learn new strategies so you can take the good stuff and implement it to your business as well. So we're looking on this first seller from Israel. Uh, as you can see, he have 221 active listings, 736 sold items, 333% sell to rate. So this seller is focusing on high sell to rate, not a lot of items. I've been checking uh, in advance, this seller using AliExpress as his suppliers, his um, uh, average sell, uh, revenue, sorry, in the last 30 days, it's $9,000. His average selling price is $12, as you can see here. And this gives us the understanding, this guy focus on, on a high performance store, high sell to rate. He's focused on low ticket items, okay? We can see that this is his strategy and this is how we achieve it. And when, I, when I've been checking his product, he's walking about between 25 to 30% sell to rate, uh, sorry, uh, 25 to 20% 20 uh, uh, profit on the product he sell on his store, drop shipping from AliExpress. So after we've validated this part, we can say, we can set to ourselves this goal. We can see, okay, what did, we can say, okay, we focus on low ticket product. Uh, we can focus on AliExpress. We want to maintain high sell rate. These things 
prove in this seller that it's worth it. It's, it's helping make more sales, he's a successful seller. And this is why we wanna learn his strategies. Number two, what I will do is to go and go through his listings here. I wanna see his titles, okay? And I want to see also uh, his product. I wanna see if he sell completely random product, if he focus on a niche uh, or anything like this. So we'll go through the product. We see this product here is from the cosmetic niche. This one here is just random, another cosmetic product another cosmetic product, already three cosmetic products here. You have this watch here as well, another cosmetic, another cosmetic products. So we can already see that he's focused uh, already, you have uh, four products from a specific niche is first, uh, four out of 15, I can say out of 10. Now if we we'll scroll down and we will see uh, that he's also using here, take a look on the title. He used Spanish title here. Let's see also if up with this set. Yeah, he used also Spanish title here. Another strategy we just figured it out right now, right? So he's using Spanish title for specific products to make more sales. So this is another strategy he used to get sales uh, in a low competition uh, market, Spanish title, titles. Let's see if we can see anything else here. Uh, that repeating another um, cosmetic product, by the way, also Spanish title. And uh, let's see if we see anything else here. Um, so far, I see another watch. So this guy, from what I see, another watch. So this guy have few th interesting things. Low, prof low product price, low, low ticket products, Spanish titles, and he scale winning products. As you can see, he have winning products, he sell more hats, he sell more watches, sell more cosmetics. So he build his store on specific niches. He start, he find winning products. Once he find one winning product, you can see if he can bring similar products, use similar keywords with a little change in the title and make sales. So this is one example for strategy. And this is why I want you to open your eyes when you're doing competitor research. It's not just about finding products. It's also learning new things. And this is the beauty. Every day you find new seller, you can find new ideas that may bring you a lot of results. Okay. Now let's look uh, on the seller on the second sellers I found here. The second seller here is from Argentina. And um, you can see here, you have a completely different approach. You have uh, 58 active listings, 806 sold items. So he's it actually, it's not a completely different approach. It's quite similar, but he's much more focused on sell through rate. Okay. His selling price here is above $20. It's not low ticket anymore. It's an average selling price, uh, $20. And um, he's used, I've been checking in advance, he's using Home Depot and Walmart. He's, he have $18,000 in sales. He use, uh, he have uh, almost 100% success rate, by the way, 40, 40, uh, 40 successful listings out of 58, better result than our previous guy. And when we look down here, we will see uh, that the product he sell are completely different, more home and garden products, more uh, stuff like this, you know, for, for the house, for the home and garden, uh, for, I would say, daily use. And, and we can see that his strategy here is different suppliers, a little bit higher prices, and a little bit uh, and different type of products. This is super important that you will understand. And again, it doesn't mean you need to stick to only one strategy, but you can see, okay, this guy is working in this method. As you can see, he's selling also $34 product, the $29 product, but most of his product here are usually for home and garden, uh, for office, for travel, we can see some stuff here, a little bit different approach from the other guy and working with US suppliers. So this is what I want you to do is to open your eyes to the detail all the time. Open your eyes to the details. It will help you find a lot of opportunities. I can tell you one thing. Once on, one, one of the uh, suppliers I found completely changed the way I walk was a very bad supplier, very low performance, very bad feedback rate, but he, he made one thing which was very, very interesting. He sell products with very, very high prof profit and uh, he, he made it. And this product also have a very uh, low um, fees in eBay. And when I was digging in inside this seller, even though he had a very bad performance, I find out two things. One, that there are products with low fees like uh, smartphones, like uh, guitars and etc. And that if he managed to sell this product with such a good price, I can sell similar products or same products with much higher success rate because he's a very bad seller. So this is what you need to do. Open your eyes, look for the details, look for the opportunity and you will find uh, a lot of opportunities in the seller you uh, follow, in the sellers you follow. Now we're gonna move to the last part and it's find niche ideas 
through competitors. See you there. Discover high selling niches using competitor research tool. So let's go to step number one. You want to find outperforming products in your competitors, products with high sales, high price or high profit. Now, remember, we we'll usually stick for product with high sales. It can be high sales, low price, high sales, high price, high sales, high profit, etc. Because when we see high sales, and when I say high sales, it's not five sales in the last 30 days, it's 20 sales, 30 sales or more. This is this gives us a sign that behind this product, there is niche with a lot of demand. So once we find these products, what we're going to do, we're going to move to step number two is research the niche. We're going to look into this product title, search the keywords that define the niche, run a search on the product research tool of Zeek. Then when we're going to get the results of the niche, we're going to analyze demand and competition, and then we're going to find selling opportunities. So I'm going to now move on to the second part. I share my screen and I'll show you an example on how to find niche ideas uh, using competitor research. See you there. So we are here inside the same seller from the previous share screen. And what I'm going to do when I look for uh, niche ideas, for high selling niche ideas, I'll scroll down to the product list and I'll start to look through the product. First of all, I will look for not branded products. So I will look through the title to see if there is any brand in the title that he used. I look on the picture, usually uh, branded products, for example, it's like uh, um, smartphones or etc. You know, if I see someone sell Apple product, I'm not going to go and search the niche because this product sell because it's Apple. But for the, for the example here, we have this anti wrinkle, anti aging collagen pure hyaluronic acid injection filler serum. This is a good example here for a not branded product, which I can go and search the niche. Now, once I validate this part, I want to see on look on the sales. So I see this product listed not long ago. It says 37 sales last 30 days, 38 sales lifetime sell for 90 uh, for nine dollar nine ninety five. And product with 37 days, 37 sales in the last 30 days, it's already product that raise uh, this outperforming um, sign, okay? More than 20 sales, it's already a lot. So what you're gonna do, you're not gonna check niche of every product you see, but once you see a product with high sales, or let's say product that sell for very expensive price, let's say it was sell only three times in the last 30 days, but sell for $1,000, it's also interesting because profit for $1,000 profit is much higher than $9 profit, right? So this is the, the, the balance you need to understand between prices and number of sales. So. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to hit here the scan title. It will automatically take this product to the product research. So basically on the competitor research part, we define high performing product. Now we're going to check the niche. We're going to come here. We're going to completely clean all the keywords uh, which are not defining the niche. So I will keep here anti wrinkle serum. OK, you can also have anti aging serum, but I'll keep anti wrinkle serum here for this example and I'll hit the search button again. And now I search for the niche. Niche is usually between two to three to four keywords. The more keywords you have, the more narrow is your search. The less keywords, the more broad is the niche. Usually we want to take decision based on niche or sub niche, not on one keyword only. OK, so I have anti wrinkle serum. I'll hit here the checkbox, the Zeek selection. We already moved to the product research, but I just want to make the whole process so you understand how I found the niche and how I validate the niche. So I come here and I want to show you how by Starting here, looking on this number, okay, this number raised me the the aware made me aware that this may be a high performing niche, okay? 37 sales in the last 30 days. I search anti wrinkle serum, which is the keywords that define the niche, and I came across a niche which generate forty four thousand dollars in the last 30 days, 82 percent success rate, four thousand percent sell through rate. And of course, from here, you have to scroll down and look for selling opportunities. There is completely another video that teach you about how to do niche research. I've shared with you link in the description for the uh, niche research video so you can go and watch this complete uh, video and learn how to find your selling opportunities. But what I want you to learn here is how to find the niche through competitor research. I hope, guys, this was useful. I hope you learn here uh, the, the use of competitor research. It's not only for finding winning products, it's for learning selling strategies and for finding hot niches. Thank you very much, guys. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel. And again, I thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, guys.